Hi, everybody. Today is December 6th. I hope everybody's getting ready for um, the holidays, whatever you might celebrate or not celebrate. And um, uh, let's see, our AUM is at 451.3 million. The treasury is 61.1 million. Our chunk supply is at 99.2 million. And the trading volume of elephant money is $580,504 in the last 24 hours. And we are staked at 61.62 million. Ed, how are you doing? I'm doing good. How are you up there in uh, the frigid New York I'm, temperature? I'm freezing in the frigid New York <laughs> temperatures. So, yes. <laughs> <laughs> it was, uh, I think in the, it was in the 50s this morning. It's probably in the 60s, maybe gets to 70 today. That's about it. But you might uh, need a light hoodie. I, I, I might. I have my long, I have my winter shorts on right now, just in case. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's pretty funny. I'm looking out a window. They're building a um, a new building next to us. It's going to be like about 25 stories high. But I'm just watching these guys on the ledges, like standing on these beams. I mean, they're attached to cables, but I'm like, man, you guys are crazy up that high. I mean, it's only up like 10 stories, but still, even at that height, there's somebody on a cable and he's walking fine, not caring about anything in the planet. So it reminds me of New York when I see those people like doing the window wash. Yeah. Very high. yeah. I'm like, I don't know how you got to do that, man. I'd be scared. <laughs> uh, anyway, I, I uh, yeah, it, it's going good for uh, It's going good down here. And I'm slowly getting ready for the holidays so uh, already did two holiday parties got i think one more to go and um yeah all good as well as it is an elephant it's all good um so hope everybody's doing pretty well uh, day number 1732 for me so i know i'm doing pretty well an elephant um i'm not sure if let me see if he's on i don't know if bt's coming on today because he's been doing a lot of keyboard stuff so uh, a lot of stuff between contracts and coding. So hopefully he will jump on if he can, but if not, so if you have any of those technical questions out there, uh, I can tell you right now, I will not be able to answer them because I do not know any answers to that. But um, I do want to give you a little quote. Um, it's often the small steps, not the giant leaps that bring about the most lasting change. So as you see, you know, doing our little, migration over to um stampede and all that i hope you guys have made it pretty easy for you guys to do and hope you guys have migrated over those that were in stampede and and you're happy with what's going on now uh it's going to be a little bit before you really do see the full effects of what's going to happen by getting in the trumpet but it will happen so uh it's nothing really even to worry about it's just something that was um definitely needed just to help Bertha and help the ecosystem be be a better place to be as far as current members and for new members and I have no problem you know taking one step back just so we can take even more steps forward and that's pretty much uh what's going on with that and I'm so glad we did it now too oh I definitely wanted to do it before the bull run just we want to be in the in the best space possible best place possible right when that bull run comes up so um, to wait until a bull run started and then think about doing any kind of migration or, or upgrade or and, and enhancing what the ecosystem can do, I think would have been a bad idea. So I'm happy that we've done it now. I know Jed is on. Um, Jed, you able to jump in, man? What's going on? I haven't actually talked to you, talked to you. I mean, I've been, we've sent messages back, but I actually <laughs> heard your voice. Hey, Ed. Hey, Ed. Hey, Ed. Hey, yeah. community. Do you hear me well? Yeah, I can hear you great. Cool, cool, cool. So yeah, you you mentioned trunk, and this is basically what I am obsessed since the last phases. <laughs> Once BT, you know, mentioned first, you know, what's the plan and how it's evolved, and you know, and now it's migrated, and it's one of my one of my favorite place now. I I, I truly like trunk. So and and you said you know it's uh, like it's a step back. I I wouldn't say it's a step back. It's definitely a step forward because the way trunk looked before and the way it looks now, it's like absolute, absolutely different and much much better beast. So you know once people will realize that you know what's on the table here, so you know it will be it will be fun. I, I, you know, I didn't want to talk about it too much in the Telegram chats because I, you know, the attention still has to stay on our flagship products, which is futures and NFTs. 
But you know, since you know, since I have the chance to speak about it, maybe I will explain how do I feel about Tron. So you know, not not to mention that it will have a low uh, low supply, which will be, I don't know, uh, once migration is over, maybe uh, less than 110 millions, something like that, maybe less, maybe more. But it will be deflationary, and you know the the supply will shrink, and then you know trunk will be able to appear in centralized exchanges. So you know, the way I see it is like I don't know, almost like a you know marketing arm for for our whole ecosystem. And you know the way trunk looks, it like perfectly aligns. You know, it, it sometimes I feel like BT. It was all planned by BT. You know, like how it should you know evolve. But yes, I know he. He does. He is uh, doing that transition. Transition also based on regu regulatory environment. So, but still, I think everything aligns perfectly here. And it's like you know, being day one in 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 a with a new token, when you know before any any centralized exchanges find it basically and their customers. So, I don't know. I I find it very bullish. Very very bullish. I do too, especially now that it's it's no longer going to inflate and it's more going to deflate. And I didn't mean it in a bad way, saying just one step back and then forward. I, I meant maybe more of a, I guess the price of it, you know, took a step back, but was going to get more as a, you know, deflationary. So I didn't mean to try to put that in a bad way. I, I know what you're saying. No, yeah, no, we no, still no. are taking step well, forward no matter what. Um, of course, and, you know, and even trumpet, and even trumpet now, you know. Uh, Trumpet is nice. It's really nice taking contract. And I was telling in, in Flying Defy chat for months, months, months ago and that it is a sleeping giant. And it is, you know, we, now this giant is uh, awakened. It's not sleeping anymore. Because, you know, the, the, the way uh, Trumpet is designed is that you you still get your e yield in trunk, but the supply isn't inflating. It, it is not minting any new trunks. It's just, you know, basically due to uh, taxes for in and out, and also Bertha uh, buying, uh, minting trumpet and burning it. Uh, so the ratio is even, uh, you know, increasing even more. I don't know, it, it's just great. It was, you know, since the... Day one, it was one of my favorite, most favorite printers. Yeah, I've seen you mention it a few times in the main chat and also in your flying DeFi. You you have been mentioned it for a long time that Trumpet is a sleeper to get in. And I know Money Man, uh, one of our our biggest guys, he is definitely uh, in it, and he has done nothing but praise that thing the whole time. And it's a sleeping <laughs> giant that also was like a hidden giant too. Like you, you kind of just just yeah. forgot he was there almost, and now. He's awakened, plus now you know about him. And he's more and more people are going to know about it once those centralized exchanges come on board. And and then the burn just starts getting stronger and stronger. And um, then we're going to see a, a very big um, a very big step forward with all that. And, and I, I also think that, you know, Trunk will help me to grow my elephant bags because it's basically open door now to the whole more liquidity. Because if uh, just imagine if uh, if trunk will appear in multiple centralized exchanges and you know uh, who knows uh, you know there is no ceiling for price there will be price discovery and you know I I think that you know the herd will make profits with trunk and and who knows this and these profits may end up in futures and in elephant that's my I think that's what I am going to do so. I don't know. I, I think this this new phase of trunk is just incredible. It's like it's a like a final piece for the puzzle, basically. And you know, this trunk is like an arm for us to to reach centralized platforms. So you know, it looks like we you know we we cannot do that with elephant token due to taxes and the way how it works. But it feels like trunk was meant to be. You know. To to serve this function basically for our whole ecosystem, so I, I find it I find it fascinating. I don't know. Heard in the chat saw me bullish already, but I am truly truly bullish on Trunk now. So I don't know. I I am happily DCAing now. I have my price targets, and you know I'm just having fun with Trunk chart now. And if I'm not mistaken, I mean, if you got in, you know, right after they switch, you you pretty much got your feedback with just all the new. 
I, I believe so. I believe most I'm looking at, I'm trying to look at my wallet real quick to see that 5% fee. Oh, yeah. I, I might have already during, grown that back already. Yeah. Yeah. During, during last, last days, uh, Trumpet was printing very, very nicely. Yeah. Especially was, for early uh, users. And now it's just, you know, it's just up from here, man. That's all I see for that. And I'm, I'm pretty happy, man. I am pretty happy. That's, that's like a perfect way to like finish off the year. Do one more step in the ecosystem and then you're just sitting pretty for 2024. Yeah. Um, let's see. All things ETH or what's up, buddy? Oh, yeah. All things ETH. You're like the first guy to ask to talk. So why don't you jump in? I see Ruggs is in here too. And I got to. Thomas, Thomas want to join the stage? Awesome. Yeah. Thanks, Ed. Um, I would love to see what uh, long shorts look like. I've, I live up in the uh, the upper Midwest, so I'm definitely got the the stocking hat on and everything. It's you know less than 32 <laughs> degrees out, but uh, I'm I'm a Four Seasons guy. I can't I don't understand you guys in Florida. I gotta have my Four Seasons. So anyway, um, <laughs> that is hilarious. Uh, I wish I, we had them down here. We get one season. That's it. Yeah, it's it's nice for sure. It's nice to visit. But uh, anyway, um, I'm just seeing a lot of opportunity and i just want to encourage everybody to uh for that each one teach one right now i'm seeing because of you know what the pop-off we've seen in the bitcoin market and some of the altcoins there's just a lot of <clears throat> people looking for opportunity right now in crypto again you know it feels like the last couple of years have been a slog as far as my world goes i'm more, i'm in the DeFi space big eth guy obviously was my name but uh but i'm um, just starting to see new interest a lot of guys that you know more maybe nft guys in the past are looking for that that yield now um last life cycle you know more more degen going oh that hurt a lot <laughs> and really are looking for something more sustainable and i think elephant can really fit the bill for a lot of those guys so just just talking about it like i'm <clears throat> there's a new social fi app on base chain called friend tech and i probably brought in i don't know at least three to five guys um, who were unfamiliar with Elephant previously, maybe hadn't spent too much time on BSC, and just uh, just been able to chat with them because because of that new interest in in what's going on and um, and and feel like the momentum's heading in the right direction again. Yeah, I like hearing those stories because I that I like to ask you the question after you say that is what was the was it something you said that that said oh you know what hey I want to put some money in or did they have some questions that we could make sure we always have answered is there anything that you can give to, uh, back to us as far as information from them that you saw that would help benefit us trying to each one teach one with others yeah, that's a good question I think um, I think the longevity really helps um, you know knowing knowing that they've that, that elephant's been around since last cycle it's not new um, you know the um, now the some of the products are new so there is some uh, some you know, some potential to help people through those processes, like uh, futures in particular, being one of the and unlimited being newer products to the ecosystem. Relatively, uh, you know, it's it's helpful to answer questions about those. You know, a lot of people are going five. You know, half a percent a day is seems crazy, but um, and and it is crazy in relative terms to most DeFi applications. But um, once you walk them through how Bertha works and um, how you know how it pays liabilities and how liabilities are a fraction of what Bertha is making on a daily basis, based on trade volume and whatever else. Um, they start to understand, and they go, "Oh, this is this is what I've been looking for." They, one guy in particular has like been in DeFi for or been in uh, crypto for seven since seventeen, uh, 2017, and he's like, "This is what I've been looking for since 2017." <laughs> oh, nice! That's good yeah. to hear. Yeah, so as far as like what what we need to communicate, I think in the DeFi world, it's it's trust. You know, um, having a Dex Dev or a Docs Dev uh, that that has a background in the financial space uh, really helps. The community really helps. Um, inviting them to the space, I see. Got a shout out to uh, to who was it? Twitter Nate. Twitter Nate's in, uh, listening along right now, and he's somebody I, I met through that friend type of tech application. Um, you know, Twitter, uh, especially crypto Twitter, is a big, big space, a big, uh, big recruiting ground for Elephant in particular. There's a lot of people that got burned last cycle and are really looking for um, some sustainability and 
like a, like I said, a docs dev and a great community. That is yeah, good here, man. I think I think you know those people especially will find Alpha Money when uh, again the charts. Will yeah, that's start. all I got for now. I um, just want to encourage everybody to to you know now's the time as the momentum starts to get going for the for the crypto market. I mean, we're if you look at you know I I'm a DeFi guy again, so I'm looking at like DeFi Llama and and uh, you know Trading View and Trading View shows that DeFi has broken out of its you know, it's of its <laughs> descending uh, triangle. So <laughs> it's time to start talking about DeFi again, you know, for for not just not just those who have been around, but for newbies as well. So it's good. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. Yep. Yep. Jed, do you want to jump in, Jed? Uh, yeah, I know. It, it just reminded me the times when uh, I saw I, I saw a lot of questions coming from people in the chat with uh, like why it's going up and you know it is going up uh, because uh, the system it is designed for it to go up and uh, basically this why it's going up it will help us to uh, recruit those new people like all things he said you know so I think everything will align very very nicely so I agree that there is a place uh, for them and elephant will fill that place yeah cool. I, I believe so too man it's it's one of those things where you know you're looking around throughout crypto and you're just seeing some spots and you know some of the devs like like oh you know eth was saying you know you need to make sure your founder or your dev is 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 known you know it's not a you know he doesn't use you know you're not using a cartoon face to do your amas you're not using every excuse possible to hide yourself um you know you, you got to be out there and they got to see you and you know we know BT, we know his real name, we know his face. He's been a public figure, so he's been out there and worked for companies, been to MIT. So it's not like you cannot realize he is a legit person. And obviously, you need to know what they are on the inside as well. And obviously, you know, he's a family man, he's got kids. So it's not like he's some shady guy that keeps putting off all these different things for you and and doesn't come through and just takes off out of the blue and you never see him again because you never saw him in the first place. No, he is out there. He's letting you know who he is and he's letting you know that what's important to him is is us and the herd and his family and you guys. And so, you know, somebody you can actually trust out there in crypto, which is very hard to do in in all platforms, whether it's social media or crypto or anywhere out there. Trust is, is hard to find. Well, it is. In my case, BT was the major factor why I fall in love with Elephant Money so so deeply last early last year. Uh, but it was purely based on on the founder of the BT because you know I as soon as I you know first time I, I saw I, Elephant I you know I just bought some for fun but then I started uh, doing some research and you know as after I listened the. Uh, probably every single AMA I could find in YouTube and uh, all of them were with BT. So I, I then understood that we have something, you know, special here. And, you know, and the time is showing already that I was not wrong. And I, you know, when I was mad about, mad in a good way about telephone money, that happened during the worst, worst times ever, ever when, you know, there were way fewer believers but you know i i just you know with my fresh eyes i i i just understood what qualities he have i i was not involved in a, a lot in DeFi before i was not new to crypto what I, but but i was not involved in DeFi, and you know i i didn't uh, know this whole background you know of what's happening in DeFi, and i didn't know bt i didn't know anyone in in DeFi, so i did not have any bs but what i did have is the ability to to see through people and i clearly saw the his brain you know his special brain and i was uh, you know i was right I, and i was telling to everyone uh, about that uh, you know, I, I heard different opinions, but, you know, time is showing everything and time is proving everything. I've been telling that last year and it's pretty much what I'm telling now. And, you know, time is already showing, you know. Yeah. And, you know, things take time as well. 
So we're not here to get you rich in 24 hours. It's uh, always a process. Well, you know? it's never made in one day. You know, it's a process. Yes, you can, you know, sometimes win some quick cash maybe in a day or so, yes. But uh, we are here to make we uh, real wealth. And real wealth is not made in one day. So I have time full of it, you know. Let's bring it on. Yeah, and speaking of wealth, we got a guy that went from rugs to riches. That's on here right now. <laughs> I know he uh, jump in, man. I know you're on and you, you got to be able to speak. So I, I think you just have to unmute. What up? What up? Hey, guys, it's going. Not much happening. It's happening. Hey, not too much. I've been in Discord quite a bit, um, mainly in the FUD channel, just trying to quell concerns and, and talk to people. And one of the questions that, that they always spout is, well, you know, Trunk doesn't benefit the system. And I said, yeah, okay. I think Trump doesn't benefit the system as much as per se futures and NFTs. I said, so BT had to find other ways for it to benefit. You know, and the analogy that I put into Discord was, you know, that free coffee that that uh, the like 7-Eleven advertises. You know, you get free coffee, but you come in and you buy chips and you buy right. Big Macs and whatever, you, when, you know, when you get in there. I said, so Trump being the advertising arm is a benefit to the ecosystem, you know, and and the biggest thing is, is that the now we have a once everything gets uh, transitioned over, we'll have that number. You know, Trump is. Is 120 million token, right? So. And we have something that, you know, ETH has too is burning mechanism. So us burning every single day is only going to drive that price up. So, you know, that's what I just yeah. want to say is that, you know, people just need to realize that because Trump might not directly benefit the system at the moment, Trump was the first driving force of the first parabolic run, you know, and unfortunately that exploit happened and that's the money that was stolen. So, you know, those people need to be, be made whole as well. And that's what the elephant ecosystem is doing. It's making those, uh, those people whole that the ones that want to wait, the ones that want to get out, will get out, you know? Yeah, and I and uh, that's why that's why the people in the FUD channel would never be in charge of marketing. It's apparently uh, all these uh, so-called marketing experts and financial experts, and then they don't realize what certain things are doing, and that's why we do what we do, and that's why they have their own channel to to not be able yeah. to validate the reason. So yeah. Yeah, that is what it is. But we keep on moving, and you know what, uh, Trunk will continue to help promote and market us really well, especially as it starts picking up more steam, and um, Bertha does what she does, but yeah, man, appreciate you always jumping in each week too, man. Thank you. I hope you have a, a good holiday. I'm sure you'll be bummed next week as well, but if I don't talk to you, you know, hope you have a good, have a good Christmas and all that. Yeah, I appreciate it. And also, you know, one thing that, one thing that I did notice that kind of surprised me in the FUD channel is some of those people that have been, I'm going to put it in quotation marks, negative, you know, once this change went through, they actually could see the benefit of it. You know, and, and they came out and they started supporting the change. So that, you know, not not everybody that that is, quote unquote, fudding is negative on the system. You know, they just they just want to be told what's going on. They want transparency and they want to move forward, you know, and, and this change definitely makes us all row in the same direction. Yeah, I, I, I like the change. I was I was I myself, the, you know, like I said in one of my videos a couple of days, it took me to get it through my head to understand what kind of change it would be for us and how positive it would be. And then once I got it going and once I just did some math and I was like, oh, now I understand it. Didn't take long at all. It literally didn't take long at all to understand how good the idea actually was to do this. So I'm happy everybody's been migrating. 100%, 100%. Don't worry. Get those NFTs. Get your yield. That's right. Got to get them Christmas presents out, man. Get those NFTs to somebody's stocking and I'd like to see some photos if anybody actually made some physical NFTs. Uh, I know somebody put one on a digital um, photo album thingy, but if anybody actually makes a physical one, please let me know and send us a photo so we can see it. Um, I tried to do it. It didn't come out too well. So if anybody does a better job than I am with a picture of their NFT on on something, maybe their QR code in the back, stuff like that, I'd, I'd love to see gift ideas like that or just something you're doing for yourself to put on your own desk or something, you know? Yeah. 
Hey, uh, uh, one thing, one more thing to, to mention is security. You know, people need to reach out to their friends and, and <laughs> people that might not be following Elephant every single day, you know, to, to say, you know, security scams are just going nuts right at the moment, you know, and everybody needs to realize I even actually got, I don't, I wouldn't say I was scammed, but I mentioned that I had one of my, my wallets was locked and there's 3 billion elephant, you know, in the ether now because I don't have access to it. And uh native down here texted me and started chit chatting with me. And then, the, uh, you know, it was just a normal conversation. And then I'm realizing this is a damn scammer. And I, I've been talking to this dude for like three minutes. Right. You know, and so realize that if anybody texts you without messaging you on Telegram or messaging you on Discord, it's a scam. 100 percent. You know, don't look at the name that, that is texting you. You know, if, if somebody texts you randomly, go on main Telegram, go on main Discord, say, hey, you know, did you just message me? You know, confirm that you're actually talking to somebody in, in the live chat. Yeah. And another way to do it. Uh, instead of waiting for them, just go in the main chat. Say I sent you a message. Just go in the main chat, click on my profile, and then click messages, which would be our personal DMs. If you don't see anything there, you know it's not me. So uh, it, you always have an easy, easy way to verify. If Because most of the time, they are not a member of the elephant group and you can easily see that because it shows you when you click the profile it shows you what groups you have in common and usually it won't have elephant in there yeah they'll sneak in the chat real quick and try to dm you usually we're able to delete them you know yesterday it was a fake bank teller in, in the uh in the elephant money and i just deleted them um so i delete as much as i can for the admin ones that i see i can't get everybody but i also think you should also check your own profile and make sure there's not double of you in the main chat because if you're somebody you know uh you you talk to a lot of people so i know you may be more susceptible to them trying to create a fake account since people you know trust you a little bit more and trying to get a dm from somebody and pretending they're you yep and that that's why i just said you know everybody reach out to your friends and just you know reassure them and make make sure they know that you know admins aren't going to text them no one's going to call no one from Elephant Money is going to call you on, on Telegram. <laughs> They're just not. Right. That, that is, I was like, well, are you kidding me? Especially people that have been in this chat for almost a year. I mean, that's yeah. the ones that need to know better. Um, but, you know, we do get a little lazy sometimes and, and, and just sometimes forget and get distracted. But that's this is the time of year where you totally need to be paying attention. Especially if yep. things start kicking in. Not just get going, going up, but let's imagine the bull run comes. Everybody's going to be more susceptible to all these kinds of things whether because i know there's a lot of people out here that don't just have elephant but you're in other telegrams of other tokens and you just don't want to get hit from some side angle that you weren't aware of because so much stuff was going on in the crypto world you know and having having all a, a separate wallet you know i i was in crypto for three years and i use the same wallet for everything you know and didn't even think about it you know and i i feel like i got lucky you know in those three years that i didn't fall prey to you know because i just i went willy-nilly you know approve everything i didn't look at contracts i didn't look at what i was approving you know and since then i've i've locked down i've moved all my like my elephant is isolated it's offline you know and that's the same thing with with other tokens too you know anything that you're you're playing around with needs to be a, a wallet that's just money that is play around money. Nothing, you know, your Bitcoin, your Ethereum, anything that you're holding long-term, elephant money, you know, that needs to be separated and offline. And how do you do yours? You have uh, you have yours completely separate? Yep, my, my elephant wallet is offline and I only go on once a month whenever I roll my futures and uh, collect my my elephant for my NFTs. And it's a separate computer, you... it's, it's not on my phone or anything. Do you have a different wallet for other tokens or you have, every, you're usually your crypto, you're like elephants on one wallet, or, uh, and other things in another wallet, or are you like to keep them together? Yeah, no, I have, elephant is, is separate and then basically all my other stuff. I only have about six tokens now that I'm really, really in. Um, and those are main things like, you know, Polkadot that I believe in, Cardano. Um, I have some Zilliqua, you know, and those are all in one wallet. But again, you. it's separated. It's offline. Offline, yeah, definitely offline is the probably the biggest thing. Too many things could could be pressed when you don't 
when you don't know it. Heck, especially if your kids start using your computer or your device too. Yep, hundred <laughs> percent. All right, man. Let's uh, see who else wants to jump in on here. Sure. Um, Hi, native. Native, I know, is on today. You going to jump in today, Native? I know you're a listener. Ghost, ghost TV here. You, I mean, is here. Hey, hey, man, what's going on? Hey, how are you? Yeah. So, yeah, my elephant is in my hardware wallet too. So I just when I when I buy it, you know, in the in the elephant uh, money website, when you buy from the website, you can specify the address to uh, put. Uh, put elephant money elephant token to a specific address that specific address i put my hardware wallet address so when, as soon as i buy it that token goes to the, my hardware wallet that's what that's one of the way i one of the ways i do about which, uh, the, which, which hardware yeah. wallet you use i use the um i use two wallets but uh this one is from uh shape shape shift it's okay. called yeah keep key i it is about 50 bucks. I bought it like a couple of years ago. It, it got better, so I kept using it. It's good. And the, about the security, you know, you know what? Do you know that in our space announcement, there's a comment and then there's an airdrop time. And then, you know, when you see the link, it's not from us, it, it's not from Elephant Money. So make sure you're not clicking the link that are not, not from the official website or whatever. And, Many cases when you click the link and connect your wallet, you know your fund is start withdrawing. I mean your elephant token or whatever the asset, digital asset in your wallet, it will be drained. So you got to make sure you're not clicking any link. You know especially you know airdrop, Arbitron, or elephant money, whatever. Many people are susceptible to click that link because it's free money. They think it is free money, but it's not. Yeah, that's a very popular thing to do is pretend there's an airdrop, which Elephant Money never, ever, ever has airdrops. Uh, so, yeah, you got to be watch out for that. Uh, uh, who else wants to jump in? Hey, hey guys, uh, this is VJ. Um, th thanks a lot, Ed. Uh, so I've been a, I've been a, I've been an EM you know, since well before the exploit, both in Stampede and, and in Elephant in, in pretty, you know, substantial sort of quantities and have also added to my position over the last several months. So obviously this this uh, Stampede uh, change was a bit of a jolt to me, um, for sure. And I still scratch my head. Native, you should about... be able to speak now if you want to jump in. Sorry. Can you guys uh, hear? But yeah, go ahead, dude. Just keep going. Um. So I, uh, yeah. So I'm just still scratching my head a little bit about about the bullishness on Trunk, to be honest, because in in the past, you know, there was a real utility to Trunk, which is that you know, Trunk Trunk is a, was essentially a stable coin and. It was backed 75% by Elephant and 25% by BUSD. And um, I remember in the early days and for several months, you know, BT used to promote it as saying, you know, where, you know, bring bring your right, profits while we're from other parts. Of I guess native. Um, I see that Grow Chain Graphics has his hand up. Yeah, Josie, one guy's talking. Can you hear him? Oh, I can't. Oh, I don't know. okay. Yeah, hello. I got a gag. One guy is talking. I hear you, VJ. Um, Native yeah. is online. I think he, he. We're trying to get one of the other guys. I want Native to answer that because we've explained how what why it's. Why no, it's hold on, hold on. Let me hold on. Let me just frame it properly, okay? Um, so, so in the past, uh, the the use case uh, for for trunk was very explicit. I mean, basically, trunk, you know, was a stable coin, and. Uh, uh, BT used to uh, position it as, you know, you bring profits from other parts of crypto and other parts of DeFi into elephant money and you put them in, in trunk. Um, but now there's no utility anymore for trunk. And this notion that somehow listing it in sexes and, um, you know, will somehow lead to widespread adoption 
I find very hard to believe. And there's no utility for it anymore. It's just another crypto. And that's why uh, I'm going to let Native answer that question for you because he's online. He's really, him and BT go through that a lot and people ask questions and it's been answered. So I'm going to let him jump in and uh, give you that answer. And if you have something you want to ask him, then uh, you can put it towards him. Okay, sure. Sounds good. Okay. You want to jump in on that, Native, if you can? Sure. Peace, everybody. Another hey, great hey, day. Hey, New Orleans. Another great day. Making our way. Making our way. Mm -hmm. So um, I actually am multitasking. Can you uh, uh, just revisit what, you, what was just stated? Or, or uh, yeah, VJ is looking about there's no utility for our currently with the new version of what we're doing with trunk and if you want to jump in again vj and kind of quickly give them a little question for him yeah so in in the past you know trunk trunk basically had had a real utility it was it was essentially a stable coin backed 75 percent by elephant and 25 percent by busd uh, and bt used to always position it as you know you bring profits from other parts of crypto and DeFi into the ecosystem and you you know sock them away in trunk and in stampede and you compound your way to um you know essentially glory and and you you know pull out passive income as you needed it but that utility is now gone there's no utility anymore for trunk um so i don't understand how trunk uh is going to be that attractive to people uh, just because we listed on other uh, centralized exchanges uh it's basically just another crypto um right. yeah it's got yeah it's got some math maybe going for it but to me the math is still way out uh there's a lot of trunk that's sitting in in trumpet uh from people's stampede uh you know accounts right now so uh, that's going to always put downward pressure on the price of trunk unless these trunk lps are are massive uh in in scope and size so I don't see how Trunk is that attractive to people who just see it listed on a centralized exchange. Why would they buy it? There's no, there's zero utility for it now. Okay, well, Vijay, I, I, I hear you. I hear you. Um, so this is what I would say to respond to that. Um, if we was to just take a few steps back and expand our perspective of what we mean by utility in regard to Trunk, right? And what has taken place within the last uh six seven years in terms of like development in a space regulatory things uh even our own ecosystem and the native assets within it and the purposes for them growing and developing and transforming for our equals for our uh for the herd and our needs right collectively and individually because uh, everything also is built off strategy so is this is like looking at it from a strategy standpoint right um Whereas one point, everything was good. It seemed like a very clear path forward in terms of a stable coin, utilizing it, uh, pulling profits, utilizing a native state of coin inside the ecosystem, et cetera, et cetera. Everything you just said, right? We can still do some of these things and look at the reality of what's taking place here. It's now deflationary. It has completely turned into something that we have a native um, value coin that has been distributed and rewarded long-term players in our ecosystem. The herd has been truly blessed off of this. And now it's marrying. I don't know how much you know about the trumpet contract. But if you I, take I know, a, I know, I know a fair bit about it. I've I've researched it very well, and obviously now good. I'm in. I mean, hey, my, I'm kind of in trumpet because good. you know I my stampede over. Yeah, good, good, good. So I'm bringing that up to say, now once we look at the relationship of what this perfectly has aligned for us to do, in terms of it becoming deflationary, and now it's married into the utilization of trumpet being an up only token based off of any movement in that contract. Someone comes in, someone goes out, someone transfers, whatever. Well, not transfers, but someone comes in, someone comes out, you know, a Bertha move, et cetera, et cetera. It's actually just increasing in the, the ratio. Um, and now we're leaning towards the near-term future where we may have some increased volatility on a contract like that, where anything moves 
the ratio is going up. And this is completely correlated and, re and, and related to trunk and what has and what trunk has evolved into now for our native purposes. You know, so now if we go back to thinking about getting gains, pulling profit, or even like uh, Jed just said earlier, you know, utilizing the 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 value that we've been able to uh, be bestowed because we've been in the community and maybe taking some profits and putting that into elephant, maybe whatever the strategy is individually. Uh, I think that I think that what we our, our our collective needs has changed over time and especially when we go back to that regulation part of it because we don't need to necessarily have that exposure to having a stable coin because it's not necessary for us to get up to a, for us to achieve our goals does that make sense so yeah, no, I mean, it, look, power... i'm not i'm not i'm not disputing anything you just said native mm -hmm. um I'm just saying it's not an automatic that we just start listing trunk on centralized exchanges and people are just going to be swarming all over it because there is no utility for it. There's no use case for it. Um, you know, what you just said, what you just said, we, are, we understand from having been in the EM ecosystem for, you know, for a long time. But, um, you know, there was a, a clear cut use case for trunk before, which was it was a stable coin. And I get the whole regulatory angle and aspect and and that being one of the drivers for this recent change. Um, but I am skeptical that trunk is just gonna go up in value. I, I understand why Trumpet goes up in value. I understand how Trumpet works. But um, you know, I'm just I'm just not as bullish as you guys are on trunk. That's um, I understand where you're coming from, and you and you've considered the fact that um, there is going to be uh, an increase in burning of trunk as it's deflationary, and you you understand that that value is uh, magnified by a contract like Trumpet. And you understand I do. It's yeah, liquid, I do. I do understand. Liquid, I do understand, understand the mechanism. It, I understand the mechanism of that, but. But I think it's going to take a long time for those deflationary aspects to be felt. The reason is that as Trumpet pushes up in price, um, people are going to exit uh, their Trumpet positions, um, you know, based on whatever value they perceive at that at that point in time. There's always going to be a, a a price of Trumpet where people are going to get out, saying that oh, this is good for my trunk now. Let me get out. So there's always going to be downward pressure on the price of trunk, unless these LPs are massive. Uh, they have massive amounts of BUSD or BNB in it, mm -hmm. um, which, which I don't foresee. So just because Trumpet goes up in price doesn't mean that trunk also goes up in price, uh, because you know, like I said, people will perceive uh, a value at certain points and 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 exit. Um, and so there's always going to be downward pressure on the price of trunk. In fact, and and that's why I'm I'm wondering why you know there should be demand for trunk when there's really no utility for it other than some math, which is not even that compelling. It's okay, it's not great, but I do understand the regulatory aspects. So don't get me wrong. I mean, I'm I'm trying to take a balanced view on the whole thing. I'm just not as like you know singularly bullish as some of you guys are on trunk. I just think that you know, because again definitely received every, everything that you just said i just think that it's a it's a it's yeah, a I concern know. that's lost that, that's the, where where you're lost um losing yourself uh you know forest for the trees type of situation right um if you really was to wait until the implementations take place and realize that you're looking at the angle of, of downward pressure but there's also going to be upper pressure and burn pressure and so there's mechanisms in the back of it as well already kind of securing you to be able to use it as a vehicle to do anything you need to do pull profits gain value compound value stay liquid right so i mean i think we're talking about an angle that um is less important because it doesn't necessarily need to go bananas for you to be to do very well and you know and that's pretty much anybody who's been in a herd for at least a year or so you know 
yet well, that's, that's just the downside. Thing. That's just like to yeah. say the least of what its potential is once we start seeing implementations come into play. No, I appreciate that insight. I, I will just I will say this about elephant though. I I do think that the elephant sell off has been has been overdone and it's probably just an emotional reaction to the changes going on. I don't think fundamentally anything has changed about elephant. So I'm still, you know, very bullish on elephant. Um, but anyway, enough said. Thank you guys for the opportunity and I appreciate uh, the feedback and, you know. Absolutely. Thank you, Vijay. As a matter of fact, that's, that's really, that's really appreciated. You know. Yeah. Thank okay. you. That one was a great question. I appreciate that. Yeah, man. Thanks for responding to that, Nate. You, you're always better at responding to a lot of that stuff than I am, man. So I appreciate you're able to jump in and, and do that. Um, Jed, are you still on? Or native? you know what? I'm going to let you pick the NFT winner today because uh, I always love somebody else. Oh, yeah. Winner. You know what? I didn't even realize we were rolling up on the uh, I didn't even know it was getting that late either. It's like, oh, we're going to get cut off by, you know, who? I know, I know, I know. I know. I, I'm just going to have to, like, put a finger on somebody and just hope they're actually in the TG. <laughs> What's that? Let's Did see, you uh, pick somebody? Oh, okay, no. I said, uh, I'm, I'm going to put my finger on somebody and just hope they're in the TG. Yeah. You know, this this, <laughs> this one, uh, make sure you're in, te in our Telegram group for this one. Yeah. Right, right, right. I'm checking us out. A lot of fun. All right. Jacob Piper. Jacob Piper. Hey, man, if you if you can if you can uh, jump up for a second so we can just congratulate you right quick and get your info in TG or just reach out to us as well. But we'd like to hear from you right quick if you can jump on right quick. Uh, he did uh, give you a signal right there. But I don't, Perfect. Yeah, I don't think he could talk. Okay, but he did, oh, okay. he did give okay. a signal. Well, yeah, hit us up in TG, man. You got the uh, NFT today, dude. Yeah, man. Congrats. Congrats on that. Hope you enjoy. Um, Hope you enjoy. And, you know, uh, you know, I appreciate what VG a VJ asked because, uh, you know, everybody always has the question. They always don't want to hear the, you know, Everybody's so so positive yeah, about hello. everything, you know. So it's good to hear uh, questions come in and oh, yeah. able to answer them for people, so they understand a little bit, you know. I mean, I always, I always take everything. Oh, wait, I think, hello, everyone. I think, that, I think that's someone uh, speaking now. Hold on one second. I'm trying to see who that was. Yeah, look, can I go on? Yeah, go ahead. How are you doing? How is everyone doing today? Uh, we're, we're good. Man. Great. Uh, it has been an amazing space since morning. I've, I've learned a lot, and I just want to make some few contributions to what uh, we've been discussing since morning. Okay. Yeah, about security, I, I want us to know that uh, concerning security, we have to be very careful of some hardware wallets because it's not all hardware wallets that are okay. Some hardware wallets are not good at all, and we have to be very careful. Some of these scammers, they are not working and um, trying to get people's secret phrase by... Uh, uh, making some uh, wrong hardware wallets. So we have to be very careful of buying hardware wallets. I know many people prefer hardware wallets, but it's getting to my uh, side this day that even some hardware wallets are not good to be used. So please, let's take note of that. We know we have some uh, notable, I, I don't want to mention any name of uh, hardware wallets, but we have some notable and well-known hardware wallets. So I want to advise us that we should uh, try and use those hardware wallets that are well-known especially by the founder and the author of those hardware wallets. Please, let's be very careful because we are in a season called Bull Run and uh, scammers will be out to to take people's money and that will not be good what we've been accumulating for years. And these people, they will come around and take it away from us. So we are very careful for that. That's the first thing I'm saying. Can I go on? Because I have to uh, to address... Uh... Hello, can we hear me? And, uh, I appreciate what you just said there, because you know what? We think all of, automatically that once you say hardware wallet, that means I'm completely safe 100%. I, I don't know any bad ones. I don't know what the ones are great, so I could never speak for any of those. I'm never going to call anybody out here as well, unless I was 100% sure. But you do got to be careful when you're out there looking for stuff. Um, I don't know how you know what, safe Ed? the hardware wallet can be, but, you know. You know what, Ed? Not to cut you wisdom, I... I want to be able to focus and hone in on this a little bit more next week maybe you know getting more specific on that and before we get cut off um yeah. in terms of like going through some hardware wallets going in going through cold you know cold storage uh air gap um other tools that are around and before we get cut off i want to drop a couple of tools that um i've used i enjoy some of us have used some of us haven't 
Um, this is not like telling you to go do anything, whatever, just bringing it to the limelight. Uh, most people do know about revoke.cash and know how to handle that. There are things like wallet guard out there where, you know, you can get your scans. I know Rabby, most people have transitioned over to Rabby now. I know you guys are loving it. That also does internal scans on uh, contract data and just making sure that you're, you know, not being overexposed and what you're actually exposed to, kind of dumbing it down and breaking it down for that quick, you know, just in case you're in emotional, you know, situation, you got those flies in you when you're clicking your ledger or whatnot. Um, transactions can be interesting. So try to find ways, do your due diligence, research these different tools that are out there. This space has been around long enough now to where there's a lot of different types of tools that you can just research on, you know, even if you have to do your due diligence to the point where you, you know, find out what their Twitter is and make sure that that's, everything's up and up and see how many users are on there on the, you know, uh, on the bookmark page and see, just, just see exactly how much uh, you can actually take note of your own security as well. So that way you're already staged properly because there's nothing more aggravating than having to transition things over after you've already started setting up your portfolio and stuff like that so yeah just wanted to put that out there before we get cut off yeah all right you know what and we should wrap it up a couple minutes early just in case so we're not in the middle of a conversation so uh make sure you guys are safe out there man you know how to handle yourselves in telegram best way you can uh especially in your personal matters whether it's your email or your text message and always keep yourself safe <laughs> And um, um, anything you want to finish up with? Any good words, Dana, before we jump out? I have another comment on DJ's question. Oh, okay, but you got to jump out. Do it quick. Okay, yeah. You get cut off. Uh, okay, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, and Native answered very well, and I just want to add, you know, DeFi needs to be evolved. And then if you don't evolve, you deteriorate.